Hello everyone, so this is for people that want to migrate abroad and are looking for unskilled jobs. People that don't have an education, you don't have a degree and you want to migrate abroad to work. So this video is for you, right? So I know that these are the kinds of people that find it, you know, a little bit harder in finding jobs abroad and relocating on a work visa. So I just thought I should do a video for this category of people, right? So if you don't have a degree, maybe all you have is secondary school certificate and you really want to migrate abroad. So do watch this video to the end because I'm going to be showing you opportunities that are available for you in this amazing country, like super amazing country. So do watch the video to the end so you don't miss out on any of the information. So if you're just meeting, my name is Jackie and you're welcome to my channel, Jackie Travels. On this channel, I share content to help you migrate abroad, to study, to work and to leave. And right now on my channel, I have so many videos you can watch about how to migrate to so many countries like the UK obviously, the Netherlands, Ireland, Australia, Japan, Germany, so many of them. So you may want to watch my old videos so you can know your options and if this is the kind of content you want to be seeing on YouTube, then consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you know every time I share a new video, right? And thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I truly appreciate all the support. Thank you and thank you. And if you've been watching my videos without subscribing, because there are so many people that watch without subscribing, I wonder why. Please, I would really like it. I would appreciate it. It would mean the world to me if you can subscribe to my channel. You know, just support the channel, you know, by subscribing. All right, so I want to show you jobs that you can get from Canada. So this is the Government of Canada website, and this is their job bank. So you can see the URL right here. So these are governments. This is a government website where, you know, the Government of Canada advertises job openings in Canada, right? And right now there are over 99,000 jobs advertised on this website, right? So you can actually go through all these 99,000 jobs, but because you are outside of Canada and you don't really, you're not highly skilled, right? You're not super highly skilled and um, you're not so highly educated. So don't go through all of them. I'm going to show you the system where you're going to find the jobs that, you know, are for you, right? Okay, so if you're highly educated, highly skilled, like maybe you're a software engineer and something, you know, really high level, then by all means, just come here, search for the job title you're looking for and the location in Canada and, you know, browse the jobs that you're looking for. But for this video, I said it was for unskilled jobs, right? For those jobs that don't require education or experience. So I'm going to show you how to filter down this 99,000 jobs to find the specific jobs that I'm talking about. So we are going to go here. Okay, here we have young Canadians, indigenous people, newcomers to Canada, temporary foreign workers, persons with disabilities, veterans and all. So we are going to go to this one, foreign candidates from outside Canada. So let's go there to find the jobs that are available for you. Okay, so we're going to go all the way down. So here you can confirm your eligibility. If you want to immigrate to Canada, start by learning about the different programs you can apply for. Each immigration program has different application and eligibility requirements. So you can, you know, as well come here to find out what programs you are eligible for. I think it's advisable you do that. And then over here, if you have a lot of work experience or training in a specific field you could be eligible to apply through express entry i'm sure we all know express entry express entry allows highly skilled workers to apply for multiple immigration programs at once so this video like i said is not for highly skilled workers so we are going to go down and over here you can you know check if you are if you are not eligible to immigrate to Canada permanently, you might still be able to work here temporarily. In that case, you usually need a work permit. 
before applying to jobs in Canada, you need to find out if you're eligible to get a work permit. So you can click here to learn more about work permits, right? So let's still go further down. Check if your qualifications are recognized. Before you search for jobs in Canada, you should find out if the type of work you want to do requires a professional license or certification. So you can also check here, you know, learn more about credential assessment. So all the things I'm showing you, these are things that will be useful to you, right? So just go through this, you know, read around, check out, you know, what you qualify for or not, you know, things like that. Okay, so here is search and apply to jobs. And this is what this video is about. Search jobs open to international candidates. So let's look at that. So out of the 99,000 jobs currently on this job bank, we are going to see the ones that international applicants can apply for. All right. So there are 25,395 of them at the moment. This website gets updated every day, like every hour. Basically, you see new jobs. So these jobs were put, were uploaded today, 28 December. So you can see there are so many office administrator, kitchen helper, emergency medicine, physician, family practitioner, you know, so many child and adolescent psychiatrists, receptionist, psychiatrist. So it's not just unskilled jobs actually that are here, but I'm going to show you only the unskilled ones. Those that don't require education or experience. Those are the ones I want to show you in this video. But well, you can see there are so many of them. Out of the 23,000, you can go through them. I'm, I'm sure there is something for everyone here. Farm work, bookkeeper, pharmacy technical assistant, food service supervisor, bookkeeper. There are so many jobs. Okay, so accounting bookkeeper, yeah, carpenter. So I'm going to open the details of some of them to show you what it's about, you know what they're looking for, and the salary as well. Okay, so this is a nail care technician. So if you're into manicure, pedicure, then you can apply for this. So this is $17 per hour, and you're going to be working for 30 to 40 hours a week. You can start as soon as possible. And this job is in British Columbia. So language is English. Education is secondary school graduation certificate. So if you have that, you're yeah, good. And then for experience, they are saying they will train. They will train, yeah? All right. So this is it. You're going to be, the work setting is a beauty shop or aesthetic service. And this is what you're going to be doing. Clean, trim, and polish nails, manicures, and pedicures. So if that is something that you like to do, then of course you can apply for this. So who can apply to this job? The employer accepts applications from Canadian citizens and permanent or temporary residents of Canada, other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit. So if they are not you know, accepting international applications, it would be written here. You'd see something like this employer is not accepting applications from international candidates, right? But remember, out of all the jobs advertised on this job bank, I filtered down to only those jobs that are available for international candidates. So we're not going to be seeing any of that in the jobs I'm going to be showing you. But if you went directly through the homepage, you went to check out all those 99,000 jobs available, you definitely encounter some that say they are not accepting international applications, right? Okay, so yeah. So how to apply by email. So you send your application to this email address and you include your cover letter. So I always say when you're applying for jobs, make sure you include a cover letter. I mean, what is a job application without a cover letter? It's not okay to just send only your CV to them. A cover letter is very important because you're going to be introducing yourself in your cover letter. Your cover letter is not, you know, it's not a second CV where you just copy and paste things in your CV. No, it's just a summary of the vital information that you want to let the employer know about yourself. So it's very important. Like I was saying, okay, I saw your 
I'm responding to your job adverts. I have this qualification. I have this experience. And this is the value I'll be bringing to your organization. So it's just something as simple as that. So I have videos on my channel about how to write a cover letter and how to write a CV. So you can watch those videos and learn to how learn to write yours if you're, you know, a newbie. Just watch those videos and learn how to write your CV and your cover letter. So I you're going to be finding a link to that on the top right corner of your screen. I'll actually leave a link to a playlist of Canada, like all the videos I've done about Canada, how to migrate to Canada without writing IELTS, how to become a permanent resident in Canada from being a tourist, you know, so many different um, visas in Canada, jobs in Canada, everything Canada on my channel is going to be in that playlist. So check the link in the top right corner of your screen and in the description box below to see all of this. So in that playlist as well, I'm going to add the videos for how to write your CV and how to write your cover letter. All right, so let me show you more jobs that you can apply to. So this is another one, administrative assistant. This is in Ontario and the job, the salary is $26.75 per hour. That is really high. And you're going to be working for 35 hours per week. And this amounts to 50,000, over $50,000 per year. That is a lot of salary for a job that requires only secondary school certificate. You know, I think it's really amazing. So do check this out. If you know you want to work or you have experience as an administrative assistant, for this one they're looking for one year experience, and that is because you're going to be overseeing other staff. You can see here in the task that you train other workers. So for someone to train, it means you have experience in that. So you have at least one year experience as an administrative assistant, then you can apply for this job, right? So they're looking for someone that you know has knows how to work with Google Docs, Office, PowerPoint, Word, and Windows. So if you know how to do all of that, then you can apply for this job. So you're going to apply by sending your email, by sending an email rather, you know, they always include the email address. So this is it right here. You send your application to this email address. So the instructions for this is link to web portfolio, copy of portfolio or relevant work examples. Remember they ask for at least one year experience. So yeah, if they ask for a portfolio, that means they're looking for some sort of experience. Okay, let's look at the next one, kitchen helper. And this is um, secondary school, one year experience. That is all they're looking for for this. So you can just, you know, present your CV in a way that shows you have you know, knowledge and experience of being a kitchen helper, right? And then the salary for this is $21 per hour and you'll be working for 40 hours a week. And they're looking for three candidates to fill this position. So there are three vacancies for a kitchen helper. So you can apply for this, yeah? It's a full-time permanent position. All right, so that's it. You can apply for this, you know, and then hope for the best. So apply on Job Bank. You cannot either apply here or you send your application to this email address and they need a cover letter. Yeah, so ensure you add a cover letter to your application. Okay, the next one here is receptionist and the salary is $16 per hour and you'll be working for 30 to 40 hours every week, right? And um, this is English. Secondary school certificate is what is needed for this experience is an asset so you know it's not compulsory but of course it's an asset you stand a better chance of getting the job when you have experience and you know even those jobs where they say they're not looking for experience i hope you know that people with experience are going to be applying for those jobs right so it's always good to have some sort of experience so you can have an advantage over other applicants because basically they're going to hire the best candidate right so if you're applying for a job without experience and you're unlucky that someone with experience also applies for that same job you can imagine what will happen okay so yeah so when you're writing your cv try to you know put in some skills and experience because they are transferable skills even if you've not done this a particular job before 
but you have experience in other jobs, tailor your CV in a way that shows transferable skills to the job you're applying for, right? Okay, so this is it. You're going to be sending your application to this email address right here. So sending your application here. Okay, next up is Kitchen Helper. This is another Kitchen Helper. And they have more information here. What you'll be doing on the job, your responsibilities, bring clean dishes, flatware, and other items to serving areas and set tables, carrying and replace them, you know, carrying and replace a linen rather, clean and sanitize items such as dishwasher mats, carts, and waste disposal units. You know, these are everything you'll be doing. So if this sounds like something you can do, right? then by all means, apply for the job. So you always see where to apply here. So you're sending your application to this email address. Okay, so let's look at another one. This is Lebera in a farm. They're looking for 20 candidates, 20, 20 candidates. So there are 20 vacancies for this. So this is a lot. You can call this a massive recruitment. <laughs> so it, no degrees required, and they said they're going to train. They're going to train. And this is in a rural area. So these are your responsibilities on the job. This is what you'll be doing. So check it out. If this sounds like you, if you qualify for this, you have interest in this, remember no degree, no experience. So you can apply for it. Okay, let's see how much they are paying. $15.50 per hour. Okay, $15.50 to $15.60 per hour. And you're going to be working for 40 hours a week. So I think that's fair enough. So this is the email address you'll be sending your application to. So yeah, please do that. Remember, even when they said no education, no experience, still try to, you know, present your CV to look real good. Yeah. All right. So next up is Janitor. So Janitor, there are six vacancies here. So it's worth giving a try. And the salary is so high. This is $22.25 for 35 to 40 hours a week. No degree, no experience is required for this. No degree, no experience. So I mean, it's something worth giving a try. So these are the responsibilities. If you feel you can do this, you're open to doing this kind of work, then of course, send in your application to this email address. All right. So the Canadian government have put in an important notice here. This comes up on every job advert on this website. They said this job posting was posted directly by the employer on Job Bank. The government of Canada has taken steps to make sure it is accurate and reliable, but cannot guarantee its authenticity. So, you know, also be careful while you apply for these jobs as well. You know, don't send money to anyone. Jobs are free to the best of my knowledge. So, you know, try not to be scammed while you're applying for jobs on this website. All right, next up is construction helper. So no degree, experience is an asset. So if you have any knowledge or you've done anything that has to do with construction helper, then of course you can apply for this. The salary is quite high as well, $26.45 an hour. And you're going to be working for 40 hours. This is well over $50,000 a year. I mean, that is a very good salary for no education and, you know, basically no experience. And there are 10 vacancies for this. So that is real good. So you can apply for this. So these are the responsibilities on this job. So look at it. It is something you can do. You, you have to send in your application. The email address is here. And the next one is hairstylist. So if you want direct links to these jobs, I'm going to be posting them not in the description because most of these employers don't appreciate when, you know, YouTubers like us share their links on our videos. So I'm going to be sharing these links in my Telegram group. So you may want to join my Telegram group to see the links to all these jobs that I'm sharing. And in that group, I also share links that, you know, it's not every time I have the time to make videos 
if I just see jobs here and there, I just post it to the Telegram group. So you really need to be part of that group if you're looking for visa sponsorship jobs abroad in different countries. Whenever I come across them online, I usually share them in the group. So to join the Telegram group, the link is in the description box of this video. So check out the description box. You're going to see the link to the Telegram or go to my About page. You know, the link to the Telegram group is there as well. So join in. If you want to see the links to these jobs, I'm going to be sending them over there in that group. All right. So this is hairstylist. If you're a hairstylist, you can apply for this. No degree is required or you need experience, obviously. <laughs> so these are your responsibilities. You book appointments, shampoo customers' hair, analyze hair and scalp conditions and provide basic treatment, apply hair extensions, cut, trim, you know, all, everything that has to do with hairstyling and the hairstyling techniques that you need are blow drying, hair braiding, iron waxing, curling, permanent extensions, twisting, pin curls, you know, all of that. So bleaching, dyeing, straightening, streaking, highlights, you know, all those kind of things. So if you're an experienced hairstylist, this one requires experience then you can apply for this. This is the email address is sending your application. Okay, so I'm going to ask for one thing. The same way I found this opportunity and I created a video to share it with you, also extend that kindness to others as well. Share this video with other people so they can know that, you know, this kind of opportunity exists. You know, share, share, share. Help others to also you know, achieve their dream of migrating abroad to work. So share this opportunity with video, share the video with others. I plead. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments. I want to read comments from you. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this. All right. If you found this video valuable, do give it a like and share the opportunity with others. You never can tell, you know, your friends and family may need this kind of information. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already. I will see you in my next video.